students today i am going to show you some science activities all of us reads theories of science but science is meant to be practical because it's all around us so today we will demonstrate some science activities from ncert book from chapter number 10 light reflection and refraction so let us start but before start i will show you mirror lens and glass lab so this one is a concave mirror convex mirror concave lens convex lens and last one is glass lab so let us start hi in our first activity we take a shining spoon a spoon has two surfaces one is concave other is convex what we will observe if we see our face in one of its curved surface and then reverse the direction is we observe any type of image and the image is large or small so let us observe in first case when we see our face in concave type surface we observe a inverted image but when we reverse the direction of the spoon on convex surface then we see our erect image of face so what we will observe we observe two kind of images one is inverted and other is erect yes student in our next activity we have a concave mirror and a white sheet in this activity we focus the light from the sun on this paper so for doing this we will start converging the light from the sun on this paper you hold the mirror in such a way that a bright point side spot of cell light focus on the paper hmm. you see a small point sized image of cell light is formed on the paper you hold the mirror in the same position for a long time say 5 or 6 minute and you see what will happen as you see when we concentrate or converge cell light for a long time on a paper it will get burn and there is small smoke at the point where you concentrate or converge the sunlight so this is happen in this activity yes student in the next activity we have a concave mirror a screen or candle as an object so in the first case when your object is at infinity as you know your image is formed at focus what about image image is real inverted and small in size so let us check in dark room as you see the image of the object is inverted real and small in size yes student in the second case when your object is beyond c then your image is formed between f and c again the image is real inverted and small in size but slightly greater than the previous case so let us see in the dark room as you see in the dark room the image is inverted real and small in size yes student in the next case in which your object is at center of curvature your image is also formed at center of curvature so i arrange the experiment or this activity like this in this image or the nature of the image is real inverted and same size as that of object so let us see in the dark room as you see clearly the object and the image is exactly on the same distance 
that means on the center of curvature image is real inverted and same size in the next case when your object is placed between center of curvature and focus your image is beyond c and the nature of image is real inverted and larger in size so let us see in the dark room as you see clearly the image is inverted larger and real in this case also yes student in the last case when your object is between focus and pole of the mirror your image is virtual and as you know virtual image is not formed on the screen and the size of the image is large and the nature of the image in which this object form virtual image so that image is erect so thank you students yes student in the next activity we have a convex mirror a mirror holder a pen or a pencil you can do this activity in two types suppose you take this mirror in your hand this is a pen you put the pen in front of this mirror or you can take the help of this mirror holder so i can take the help of this mirror mirror holder and i put this mirror into this stand now i take this pen in front of this mirror and take away this pen from the mirror what will you observe you observe the image of this pen in this mirror is always erect with respect to the position of this pen or pencil that means a convex mirror is always form a erect virtual image that's why we use convex mirror as a rear view mirror in the vehicles yes student in our next activity we have some mirrors as you know mirror are of two types plane mirror and spherical mirror and spherical mirror are of further two type concave mirror and convex mirror so as you see this is a plane mirror concave mirror and convex mirror in this activity we focus the image of distinct object on the surface of this reflecting mirrors so let us start Mm -hmm. as you see in the plane mirror we focus the image of distinct object mm -hmm. yes student i replace the plane mirror with concave mirror as you see in the concave mirror you see the image of distinct object reverse or inverted as there are six cases in case of concave mirror in five cases image is inverted and only one case when your object is between focus and pole you get the erect image but as our object is very far so we get the inverted image in last case when i replace mirror with convex mirror you see complete image of the distinct object so in three mirrors you will observe that only in case of convex mirror you see clear erect image of distinct object yes student in our next activity we have a bucket and a coin firstly we pour some water into the bucket next we put this coin into the bottom of this bucket when you put the coin bottom in the bottom of this bucket you observe the coin from upside and you want to pick the coin and let us start mm -hmm. you try to pick the coin but in one or two try you can't pick this coin and what is the reason why 
you not pick this coin is again due to refraction of light due to refraction of light the position of this coin is somewhat different because the coin is slightly rise from their position yes student in our next activity we have a bowl and a coin firstly place the bowl on a flat surface and put the coin in the bottom of the bowl and slightly move away from this bowl up to that position you can't see the coin in the bowl now ask your friend to pour some water gently into the bowl so that your coin position is not disturbed and when you pour the water into the bowl as you see there is some water in the bowl now from this position you see the coin in the bowl why you see the coin this time in the bowl what is the reason behind this so dear student when you pour some water into the bowl so due to refraction of light the position of the coin is somewhat rise and you observe you see the coin in the bottom in the bottom of that bowl in our next activity we have a glass lamp a paper or a marker so let us start this activity firstly you draw a straight line on the white sheet or white paper then you put your glass lamp in two manner in first you put the glass lamp with an angle to the edge of the glass lamp as you see this light will bends through some angle so what will observe we will observe that light is refracted again when you put the glass lamp normal to the line what will you observe there is no such bending of the light but the light which is from the center pass from the glass lamp is somewhat upward means rise you easily observe in the glass lamp this line is slightly upward due to refraction of light yes student in our next activity we have again a glass lamp a white paper a board some pins pencil scale eraser etc so let us start this activity firstly we put a white sheet on a board at center of the paper put the glass slab mark the boundary of glass slab and then take four identical pins and put the two pin as in incident ray and other two pin as an refracted ray so let us start as you see these two are represent the incident ray the ray which travel from rare to denser medium refracted ray and when this ray again refracted is known as emergent ray you see from the all four pins are in straight line look as you see the four pin are in the same line now we will perform this activity with as you see when we take an example of laser so put a laser light as an incident ray so you will observe this is incident ray refracted ray and this is emergent ray because a laser is highly directional light so that's why you can observe this phenomena student in our next activity we have a convex lens and a white sheet again we converge the light from the sun on this paper and when we put a lens in such a position 
that we will observe a bright point size spot on the paper we concentrate the sunlight or converse the sunlight on the paper for 10 to 15 minutes what we will observe hmm. as you see we concentrate the sunlight on the paper for 10 to 15 minutes so that's why we observe a spot a burning spot with small smoke on the paper this means that we converse sunlight on a point size on the paper so it converts sunlight and burns the paper yes student in next activity we have a convex lens a screen and a candle as our object in your NCRT book you will observe there are six cases for a convex lens. In our first case, when your object is at infinity, then you will get the image at focus. The image is highly diminished, real and inverted. So let us check in this activity. Hmm. As you see, the image of this candle formed at focus. The image of candle is inverted, real and diminished. But if you want to perform this experiment in dark room, as you see more bright image of this candle, inverted, real, diminished and also formed at focus. Hmm. In our next case, when our object is beyond C, you see your image of this object is formed between focus and radius of curvature and the image is again real, inverted and small. Yes student, you will observe the inverted, real and small size image of the object. Again in the dark room, you observe more bright image of this candle. The position of the image between focus and C, radius of curvature and image is inverted and larger than previous case. Yes student, in the third case, when your object is at center of curvature, this is a special case in which your image is also formed at C. And the size of the image is same as that of object. Again, nature of the image is real, inverted and same size. So let us check. As you see, the image is at center of curvature. Image is inverted, same size that of object and real. If you want to see in dark room, Again, a bright image of this object is formed. In the fourth case, when your object is at focus, image is formed at infinity and the size of image is so large. Again, nature of image is real and inverted. So let us check. As you see, the image is so large because this image is formed at infinity, a real, inverted and highly magnified image. In the last case, when your object is between focus and pole, image is formed at behind the object because in this particular case, your image is virtual, erect and large in size. As you know, a virtual image is not formed at screen. So if you want to see the image, you look here in the mirror. Hmm. You see, the image is the same size. So we have to try in our camera to focus this image. But you can't 
distinguish between object and image because image is at the same side of an object yes student in the next activity we have a concave lens a candle as an object as you see in your ncert book activity if in case of concave lens the object is at infinity beyond c between c and f at c at f between f and p anywhere in every case you get the virtual erect and small size image of an object so do, for doing so we can perform this activity as you see i put the object at c center of curvature suppose this is our screen but there is no image of this object on the screen why because virtual image never formed on screen so if you want to observe the image then you directly observe the image from the lens as you see the image of this object is small erect and virtual now i shift this candle away means change the position of the object but in every case you see the erect small size image of this object 